What's up guys, we're here with another video and it is a, another unboxing video and this time it is the new Star Wars Black Series Darth Malgus figure from the Gaming Greats from Star Wars Old Republic. Now, um, I haven't got this figure out of the box yet, technically, um, but let's just have a quick look at the packaging and then we'll have a look at the figure itself. So, the front is Star Wars Black Series and then you've got the figure himself right here. Uh, got great the gaming greats logo, Star Wars the Old Republic, Darth Malgus. On this side you see you see Darth Malgus here, the figure itself and the lightsaber. And then you see seven inches or seventeen point eight centimeters long or tall. This is probably the yeah, you know, this is the biggest black series figure that I own and I think it's the black biggest black series figure. Like when it comes to this like like a lightsaber character, I think. Um, if you want to pause the video here to read the um, to read who the Sith Lord is, then do that now. But yeah, we've got another we've got the same image from the front and the back here. Twenty four Star Wars: The Old Republic, Star Wars Black Series: Darth Malgus. On this side, you get an image of the image of Darth Malgus. The top, nothing. The bottom, just a bunch of useless information, really. Now, something that I found out that was very weird is when I when I opened him up. Let me get him out here. So the figure essentially gets wrapped up in a body bag and sent to you in a in a cardboard box. So I mean that's pretty cool. I think I'm pretty sure it's to do with his cape, which I'm not really too fussed about. I mean. I don't really mind it to be honest. So yeah, it just looked a bit weird when I first looked at it. But um, yeah, let's just get this accessory out here and then yeah. Okay, so the only accessories that we get is the Darth Malgus lightsaber. As you see we get the hilt here which it's fairly fairly basic in its painting, but the design of the hilt is probably one of my favourite designs in a lightsaber hilt in like the Star Wars universe. And then we've got a uh, red blade here, which is obvious since it's a Sith, but it's a bit longer considering the size of the figure. The other, the other accessory that he comes with is on him uh, when you come out the box, and it's his respirator. As you can see here, if it wants to focus. There you go. There's a respirator, pretty nicely detailed. And it, when you put it on, it kind of clips at the back a bit, and it sits nice and snug on his uh, face, pretty much. So let's get the figure out here. Okay, so this is the figure, pretty much. And um, it's I, I put the respirator back on because it's a hassle to get it's a hassle to get the head off. So I'm just going to put a picture in now, just of what he looks like without the respirator. So um. Yeah, it's a very, very tall, very, very imposing figure, as you can see, just that angle right there. Very, very imposing, very, very nice. The detailing is very, very nice. Um, as you can see here, got the scar in there from when his jaw was damaged. These parts do move, which m you may need to be careful of, since they are possible of breaking, so yeah, be careful of that. I haven't done that yet, but just a pre-warning just in case it does happen, which I probably may do if you're fussing around way too much. The detail on the uh, chest piece is very, very nice. Same with the gloves. The overall the overall piece is very, very nicely detailed, and the back is even very nicely detailed as well. They didn't need to do it since it's got a cape there, but they, they did end up detailing it. And painting and doing some pretty nice work. So yeah, let's um, get over to the uh, articulation now. So the head can go forward not very far because of the um because the respirator his head can go back um a bit it's got side to side movement and obviously that 
His arms can move out quite far. And you've got this shoulder pad which can move out of the way. It's got Malcus has a butterfly joint in there as well. And go forward, also go back. You get 90 degrees and then you've got a rotation in the elbow and then you've got up and down on the lightsaber ha holding hand or the right hand and then this hand goes in the in a different direction um, not much ab not much um, crunch back got a an okay crunch forward side to side a bit swivel a bit can bring out his leg quite far. Obviously got rotation from the ball point there. Got a single jointed knee which goes to 90 degrees. And then you've got ankle articulation here as well. And then, yeah.